Hey guys, welcome to another medical slash biochemistry lesson. Um, in this lesson, I'm going to be talking to you guys about uh, the AMPK signaling pathway. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about just an overview of the AMPK signaling pathway. So um, just to begin, what is AMPK? Uh, so AMPK um, is also uh, known as AMP activated protein kinase. And as the name suggests, um, it is regulated by AMP. Um, so uh, adenosine monophosphate and uh, it's actually regulated um, uh, primarily by the ratio AMP to ATP ratio so when uh, that ratio increases uh, these, uh, this protein AMPK will become activated and because it's activated by AMP it's considered an energy sensor for the cell and, um, and again as I mentioned before it's activated during an energy depletion and uh, it regulates many uh, different processes in the cell and thus it is known as the master regulator of energy metabolism. So here we have AMPK. Um, there's, a f there's several things that actually activate AMPK. Um, I'll just go over a few in this video. Um, the first thing I want to say is uh, AMP is an activator of AMPK obviously. Um, another protein um, is known as LKB1 or liver kinase B1. And then another thing that uh, that activates AMPK, which is interesting, um, is exercise. Exercise is actually uh, an activator of AMPK. So now, um, what does AMPK actually do in the cell? Well, AMPK, um, first off, it's uh, it's a negative regulator of uh, mTOR signaling, so mammalian target of rapamycin. So it actually um, phosphorylates and um, inactivates a uh, mTOR. Um, which itself is an activator of uh, protein synthesis. So AMPK will actually suppress protein synthesis. Another thing it does is it activates ULK1. Um, ULK1 is, uh, is an indispensable protein um, involved in macroautophagy. So um, AMPK actually um, activates ULK1, which will then activate autophagy. So AMPK signaling leads to an activation of autophagy pathway. Another thing AMPK does is it activates ATGL. Um, ATGL is adipose triglyceride lipase, and this is the uh, the first enzyme um, involved in the uh, the the release of fatty acids from a triglyceride molecule, um, and that uh, um, obviously leads to a fatty acid catabolism. Uh, and another thing that AMPK does is it, is it actually inhibits ACC or acetyl-CoA um, carboxylase, um, and now this this enzyme is is uh, uh, indispensable um, for fatty acid uh, fatty acid synthesis. Um, so when AMPK actually inhibits ACC, um, it actually means it inhibits fatty acid synthesis. So you can kind of see where this is going, guys. Um, AMPK activates fatty acid catabolism and oxidation, and will um, suppress fatty acid synthesis. And then another thing that's uh, kind of closely related to fatty acid synthesis um, is um, HMG, um, HMG CoA reductase, and this is the the enzyme involved in uh, cholesterol synthesis. So AMPK actually inhibits um, HMG CoA reductase, so it thus inhibits cholesterol synthesis. Now, um, other things that AMPK does is it actually will activate uh, glucose uptake through GLUT4 transporters um, through um, the process um, involving TB, uh, TBC1D1. Um, so this is uh, another way that um, uh, an insulin sensitive cell may be able to uptake glucose um, independent of insulin signaling. It can um, actually go through an AMPK dependent pathway. Um, and this is exactly what happens, um, uh, for instance, in exercise. Um, during exercise, you can have um, exercise activating AMPK, which can then uh, increase glucose uh, uptake through GLUT4 um, translocalization. So this just leads to um, uh, increased glucose uptake and glycolysis. And the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is that AMPK actually inhibits uh, glycogen synthase. Um, so it, it, it actually inhibits glycogen synthesis. So that makes sense, right? You the, the cells taking up glucose um, through um, increasing glucose uptake, but then it's actually inhibiting glycogen synthesis um, through AMPK. So now just a summary of the AMPK signaling pathway. Um, 
the first thing um, is that it is uh, AMPK. Once AMPK is activated, it'll actually increase glucose uptake and utilization. Another thing it does is it increases fatty acid oxidation uh, through uh, ATGL. Another thing it does is it increases autophagy. Now, it, it increases autophagy by a couple of different mechanisms, as I mentioned, ULK1, but also its uh, negative regulation of mTOR actually um, causes an increase in autophagy as well. Now, it um, uh, AMPK actually decreases glycogen synthesis. So um, you can see here that um, glucose uptake and utilization is increased, but glycogen synthesis, uh, synthesis is decreased. Um, AMPK also um, inhibits fatty acid synthesis, and it inhibits um, protein synthesis and cholesterol synthesis. So you can see here that um, AMPK, is, is, uh, AMPK signaling is, is leading to uh, an uptake in utilization of nutrients. Um, so uh, it's utilizing the nutrients, but it's utilizing them um, in catabolism, not in anabolism. It's not utilizing the nutrients for synthesis. It's actually utilizing the nutrients for for uh, making more energy, making more ATP. And that's pretty much the bottom line, guys. The general statement is that AMPK signaling leads to an increase in catabolism, but a decrease in anabolism. So the main goal for AMPK signaling is to upregulate um, pathways to um, decrease e uh, energy expenditure while increasing energy uh, production so that the, uh, the, the AMP to ATP ratio can reverse so you can get more ATP um, and less AMP. Anyways, guys, that was uh, an overview of AMPK signaling. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. That's always greatly appreciated.